Hello and welcome to another update video about NIR. On the NIR chart, we are also in a pullback. Okay, so we currently see this corrective pullback. It seems like a corrective pullback at the moment. At least we haven't taken any previous swing lows out that are significant. Um, Fibonacci support is holding, the previously communicated support area is holding, as well as this ascending trend line is holding. So at the moment, uh, I see this only as a yeah, corrective pullback. Also, please be aware that there is the previous um, top here that formed in February um, last year at around $2.85 that overlaps with the 50% retracement level of this third wave rally. In addition to that, it's not only that, this level was previous support also in October 22 and in June 22. So to me, you know, this is a key level. Okay, it's, it's, um, it's an important level, so we can mark that actually on the chart. It's the 285 level together with that Fibonacci level. I mean, it's just, it doesn't add really any new info because we have that FIB level on the chart as well. But in terms of structural support, um, it is a somewhat important level. So just want to men mention it um, so that you can pay particular attention to that level because from a Fibonacci point of view, this is key as well as structurally it can add additional or it can act as additional support. For now, um, it is the $2.51 level that I see here as main support level and a break below that level, especially a sustained break below that level would act as our signal that a more substantial top has formed. And remember that we are we're tracking this upside. We wanted the price to get into this resistance area. Well, that's been reached. And um, the next main FIB to the upside, Fibonacci resistance level is at $5.08, then $7.09. And as long as this yellow box is holding, these can be reached. The potential is there for these to be reached. That's what I'm watching for as long as we are holding above support. But a break below support would indicate that this larger top in either wave one, sorry, wave A or wave two is already in. So the question is, okay, is the top in or not? At the moment, I see this only as a way for corrective pullback. But please note that, first of all, on the near chart, the microstructure is completely unreliable. So I give my best to give you a wave count, but you know, we just use the FIBS um, and we use the Elliott waves obviously to get the FIBS. But if the Elliott wave count isn't very reliable, the FIBS might be off a little bit. However, obviously, it's good to see that, for example, the $2.85 level here overlaps very well with that main FIB level. By the way, it's not the 38.2 if I mention that. It's the 50% Fibonacci level. I think I mentioned 38.2. That was wrong. It <laughs> doesn't matter so much. Um, but yeah, so far, this trading area or support area is holding. But, it, you know, it's, again, I don't have very clear what you would be trading. It's just the last bit, probably. But it still has good upside potential if that support level is holding, right? Um, please be aware that what we're tracking here overall is just a corrective structure. So it's literally for me all about, okay, is this an A wave? We get a B wave pullback. The pullback is corrective, all good. Then we probably get another C wave rally. But maybe this is all of wave two and we are coming down in wave three next. The main challenge on this chart is still that the daily chart um, just doesn't look great. Okay, we have an ABC structure initially to the upside. That leaves a lot of room for interpretation. So please be aware of that. Um, at the moment, though, as long as we're holding support, I'm tracking an active uptrend. And I will let you know, should that change? And as soon as we get a break below that yellow support level at $2.51, $2.52, I will put the, let's say, the alternative support area on the chart. There will be one more bullish support area that will be relevant. But should the $2.51 level break, there's one more structural support level here at um, $2.05 and that would have a potential to form potentially, yeah, a head and shoulders pattern, okay? So obviously this is just a potential at the moment. Should this support break, then we might see or might find structural support around that area and it might form a head and shoulders and then this would obviously not have bullish implications, but the break below $2.51 would be a significant warning um that something more bearish is playing out to be honest i don't really want it to break below the trend line anyway so we we focus on that and it has to be monitored um all the time this chart is very very dynamic okay that's my update about near hope you like the update 
If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.